ஹாய் அருவன் வெல்கம் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் அருண் ரெடி டெக் ஃபார் யூ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் டாட்டா வேல்டேஷன் So friends if you don't want to miss my videos please subscribe my channel arun ready tech for you and don't forget to like my videos coming to excel to get minimum error and provide reliable information we have a tool in excel called data validation what data data validation do is it will warn or restrict wrong data entry for example I have a student details table with column serial name oh, sorry student name age mobile number and gender now i will try to enter the age as a alphabet like a or a negative value like minus 2 actually for age it should be between from 0 to 100 but it is accepting the alphabets and negative values to avoid this we use data validation now i want to validate my data to do that first i have to select the whole column so let me remove the data i will select whole column i'll go to the data tab and go to the data validation in data validation you can see there are three tabs first one is setting second one is input message which is pre message and third one is alert, error alert message which is a post message so coming to the settings for my age i required a whole number so i will select a whole number and it's the whole number should be in between 0 to 100 so again i will select between i will write minimum as a 0 and maximum as a 100 okay so it's uh, the data should be between 0 to 100 nice let me go to the input message input message is a pre message means when while you are entering the data it it will show the message so i will say enter numbers between 0 to 100 nice right let me go to the alert message error alert and here you have three options either you can stop message or you can warn or you can inform so i i want to stop the message if somebody enters a wrong wrong uh, data so i will choose the option start so stop is the option i am choosing and i will go to the error message here i will give invalid data so a person if any person enters a wrong data it will show a message invalid data so let me save and check okay now when i click on the age immediately you can see a message enter number between 0 to 100 so it's a clue for the people who enters the data now still i will enter alphabet and i will try to move to the next cell see it is not accepting my data uh, so i will just say cancel and uh, let me enter a negative value minus 2 see still it is not accepting okay let me try uh, with a uh, uh, number above the 100 so i will type 200 and i will just move to the see it's not accepting so as i said enter number between 0 to 100 so let me enter a 23 age and i will move to the next 34 yes it is accepting 67 yes so like this it is accepting the different data now moving to the next column mobile numbers in mobile numbers generally we have a 10 numbers so suppose a person forgot to enter a 10 num uh, enter 10 numbers forgot one of the digit or he try to uh, entered more than 10 digits so then we will have a problem so to avoid such kind of problems again we can use the data validation for example now let me check 1 2 3 4 5 and i i will move to the next see uh, suppose i will enter 1 2 something uh at 15 digits or 17 digits see still it is accepted this should not be done so what i will do i will just remove this data i will select whole column go to again data validation here in the settings i have a option called text length 
so uh, now i am considering my mobile data as a text because i don't calculate so i will consider mobile number as a text and i will choose uh, there are different options like between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal so i will choose it equal to and it should be exactly 10 neither it should be a less than 10 nor it should be more than 10 so i will say okay now let us try uh, i will enter just three or four numbers one two three four and i will just uh, move on so see it is not accepting and uh, we can also give a message okay for example if i uh, again i will go to the data validation here a uh, input message i can give please enter or enter 10 digits 10 digits number okay so again i uh, i want to stop because i don't want uh, people entering a wrong data so i will i don't want one i can stop okay so i will just write invalid it's a, a, a post message invalid data okay so i will say okay now let us see what happens if i uh, once again enter a three or four digits see while entering it is saying enter 10 digits okay so after if i it is showing that invalid data so i will just cancel now this time i will enter uh, 10 digits 9876543210 okay so 10 digits right see it is not showing any error nice right okay coming to the next uh, column gender gender sometimes what happens people may enter for female f or some people may enter fm or some people may enter fel so the different people will enter different data to avoid this kind of problems again we have option in our data validation so select the column go to data validation go to settings here just select a list of the values which you want to show okay so when a person uh, try to place the cursor on the column immediately he will get a drop down list okay so uh, you can create a drop down list present i am checking only two options you can create a lot of options note so first i will go for a female i will use comma female okay female comma sorry female comma male okay so let me save okay now if i click immediately you can see a drop down list and uh, if i click here i got two options so uh, people can select any one option and again next you can see another drop down mail again if you click i can type also if i type correct it will it will accept if i don't correct suppose mal see it is not accepting so until i type either male or female it will not accept nice right you can also choose a drop down list suppose uh, it may be a district you can uh, a city hyderabad warangal i can uh, have a different list of values by using this drop down list nice right keep practicing thank you